Good evening, everyone. This is Adam with The Highest Return. Find me at The Highest Return Group on Facebook or thehighestreturn.com. Subscribe to my blog. Now, today I'd like to talk to you about the events of today, September 20th, 2021. Basically, we had the stock market fall uh, on average around 2%. Um, Dow Jones and NASDAQ both fell around 2%. And then our actual um, high-tech companies were falling more like 5 between 5 and 6%. And then we have crypto, which was down almost 10% for Bitcoin, all the way to almost 18% for stuff like Algorand. Now, what did I do? I liquidated uh, one third, um, a little bit more than one third of my stock portfolio, um, especially things in higher tech industries like 5G, for example. Um, I'm keeping all the stocks that I have in agriculture, um, such as Lamb Weston, ConAgra, um, and Archer Daniels Midlands and actually ADM is what I actually have on my watch list to maybe buy if it goes below um, 45 this week. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, I liquidated a lot of my Albertsons shares because I've been up on those and I've been just kind of playing the options market, writing call options for every two weeks and kind of making money off of that. But uh, I'm cashing out and waiting for the next few days just to see what happens. Um, so there's two events that are causing this. Number one, the Evergrande issue. Basically, if you're not familiar, Evergrande is a large, uh, property developer in China. It's the second largest. They make sky, uh, sky rise residential buildings. And there are a lot of people that put a lot of money and maybe their life savings into this company, um, reserving units in buildings that have not been finished. Now, uh, that's why you see on online that you know these older folks are sitting outside the headquarters crying and really upset at the executives of Evergrande because they're late, basically losing their life savings. If you're not familiar with uh, Asian culture, um, Asians like to – some Asians, I'm not going to generalize them, but Chinese specifically like to invest in real estate. And some of them only re- invest in real estate and not stocks. And they'll do so even if they don't get much in the terms of rental income, just – hoping for uh, appreciation. And that is something that's very scary. But, you know, it's not, you know, you wouldn't expect that your building would not even be completed. That's another level of bad. Um, So Evergrande, um, geez, uh, that will probably spill into other uh, commercial and residential real estate um, developers in China. And it could have a ripple effect across their entire economy. Um, You compound that with... uh, China sort of, uh, you know, cracking down on Macau casino leases. Um, that's a recipe for potentially companies reconsidering uh, their, you know, presence in the country. Um, so that's that. The second thing is the debt ceiling. Uh, you know, we've seen this before for the debt ceiling having to be negotiated. Uh, I think the Democrats added a new provision uh, in what they want to see in their debt ceiling increased also. Um, I think allow for a pause in uh, even having a debt ceiling. So I don't think the Republicans are going to go for that. So that puts in jeopardy a little bit of the federal spending. We could see a, a spending freeze again. So those two issues uh, caused a little bit of a shakiness today in the stock market. It's not like what we saw at the beginning of the pandemic, you know, when the stocks went down 5%, but it is uh, new. And I think it's, we haven't seen this for at least uh, two years. So um and welcome to investing. So what I'm, you know, what I'm going to do with this cash is hold on to it for a little bit. Um, if the stock, if the property values actually go down in the area that I'm looking at, I'm going to buy another uh, investment property. If that doesn't happen, then I will consider safer assets to invest my money in. I'm thinking food and defense stocks at this point. This has been Adam with the highest return. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one.